Hey, well, I'm um, playing around with the RP2040. Um, I saw it last weekend, and at first I was kind of like, eh. And then I started looking at the specs and some of the things it had, and I'm like, well, for $4, let me try it. So I ordered a couple, got them in, put a little board together to hold it, power it. And um, one of the first tests I usually do with new processors is to check to see kind of what the bare bone speed is and um so um looks pretty good um i'll not talk about the specs here so much you can go online but um running a, the their modified blank sketch and um i trimmed it down and um we're i'm doing a two second a two, excuse me, two um, microsecond delay. And we're getting pretty close to that here for the, for the wave. As you see, we got two microseconds there. Um, 4.87 kilohertz, you know, which it should be 500. And then my... Um, counter over here agrees with that got two right there and let's settle down yep to four point or excuse me four eight seven there so it's pretty encouraging um when i first looked at it you know the reason i kind of went at first is it's like you got processors like the um the new risk five stuff that's coming out i've been playing with with those a little bit here the last couple of months around thanksgiving i was doing some um some stuff um and i was really impressed with how fast i could pull the ports uh, really really fast so um and i'm thinking that the io may be a little faster still on the risk but this one's got a lot more um, extras on it. It's definitely more memory, flash and RAM. Um, it's dual core, and the 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 Giga device that I'm using is not dual core. Um, I like that it has. You can choose where you want to, or what kind of choose where you want to have your your spy buses on. You know, pin wise and um, I two C things like that um you can choose you have two two spy buses two i2c buses and, or peripherals as you say and then you can um choose which one you want them to be turned on for the gpio so that's that's pretty good but anyway um this is a kind of a quick look i want to do some more um what i really was interested in is the pio that it offers, which is programmable I.O., um, kind of a, like a, I guess, mini core. It has eight of those. They're state machines. Then you have, I think, 34 different um, assembly instructions you can use for it, for that machine. So I'm interested in that. So that would be, I think, very useful. But anyway, um, thanks a lot.